shirt this year. Getting a little bigger for 49. Um, so it'll be a help, help me out on top. So first thing I'm just gonna talk about, I guess, is uh, kind of the philosophy on bottom. You guys still hear me good? Just let me know, signal me if you can. Um, so philosophy on bottom. All right, I'm gonna teach you guys obviously the techniques that, that kind of we do, a lot of change over, go over the ankle, quarter turn, stand up, knee slide, kind of the tripod and everything we do, kind of that sequence from uh, bottom wrestling. But uh, from a philosophy standpoint, first thing, uh, you know, all, all those skills and those techniques and everything are good and they're nice to know, you know, if the guy stops your first move. But the first thing is, if you have an athlete, you know, off the whistle, the best thing you can do is just explode and get up to your feet, you know. If I can jump up to my feet, I mean, we kind of have guys that are ready, wrestle, they jump up, but I'm not as fast, all right, or young, so you can jump up, you can jump up two feet, and they're out, you know, that's fine, you know. And the other main thing is that you always you keep moving, okay. The guy that gets in trouble is the guy that stops moving, all right. Again, we probably saw a little bit of it last night, all right. You got this hammer on top. You let him kind of set something off, get weight on your hands, you stop moving a little bit, what happens? The leg comes in, it spreads you out, and you're in trouble. So, uh, so from a philosophy standpoint, first thing, you're going to get to your feet. Any way you can, as fast as you can. All right? You can't jump up to your feet and he stops my first move, whether he bumps me, tight waist ankles, something. Okay, now we'll get into some techniques, you know, my sequence on how to get out. So we're just going to start with our basic quarter turn stand. All right? And, uh, and I'll show you guys kind of a lot of the glitches that, that, that the guys, especially high school guys, the freshmen, you know, they, they come to college with some glitches. The main thing, the main one is what you can do. Y'all want to feel both hands, right? So I'll talk a little bit about that. And then, uh, and then I'll show you guys kind of the progression. So first thing, all right, uh, Hunter's on my left side. Okay, so right off the whistle. All right, one, I want to, it's quarter turn stand up, so. Yeah, wrestling people, we weren't very smart when we named our moves, right? Quarter turn stand up, I'm going to turn a quarter of the way. So he's on my left side, I'm going to turn to my right. And always just making sure my, my outside leg is up, pushing back in. Okay? So that's kind of the main thing. We, we usually start, we've been going over bottom on Tuesdays and Thursday mornings for the last couple weeks. And we start off every, uh, every actually let me backtrack a little bit. We start off every uh, morning workout doing this. Core, working on core, not getting flat, right? So Hunter's just gonna keep jumping side, and see I twist in it? I'm kind of loosening up that tight waist. When she wipe my foot a little bit and twist it. Now what's the only other thing you gotta keep in mind, right? Especially, I mean, from the top guy, for me, mm -hmm. you can't twist like this, what happens? He knows, I've pinned him 300 times like that. <laughs> so I keep tight waist, and he keeps, and we keep jumping side, and then I just gotta beat him to the punch and kind of twist. So we always start with working on that core, all right? Just having a strong core so that you know you don't get broken down on that first tight waist chop. You know you want to stay strong, okay? So having a strong core is important, but then getting the actual mechanics on how to uh, quarter turn stand up, all right? So that outside leg, that power legs up. I quarter turn. Very important that I take my hands off the mat when I quarter turn, all right? If I quarter turn like this, what happens? It puts me on my shoulder, and now I'm in trouble. All right. So as we quarter turn, Hunter's just gonna get me on a little thigh pry and a spiral right here. All right. So ready, rest. I quarter turn right here. Sorry about that. I quarter turn. My outside leg's up. Okay. My knees underneath me. He might pull me back. Try to pull me back in the pocket. I gotta keep my knee bumping, bumping in. I have good back pressure. All right. Now as we get up, I take two hands. Two hands. This is the part that gets boshed a lot. All right, by, by the incoming freshmen and stuff, they want to escape like this. So as they get up to their feet, they push back. He's gonna be pushing into me. I'm pushing into him. It'll raise me up. Pushing me up. All right, I push up like this. this. Is what everybody in high school wants to do. And get their escape, right? They might not do that. That, that jump. Like that. But uh, everyone wants to peel two hands like this. All right. The thing to remember is this hand isn't doing anything. All right. This is the hand that's holding. Always attack the high hand. Okay? So as I quarter turn, quarter turn, my outside leg, power legs up, I'm pushing back into him. I go two hands on that high hand, kind of take his pinky, put it on his thumb. We're getting really, really technical here from a technique standpoint. And I twist it like this. Alright? As he's pushing back at me, I push up. And now it's real important as I put this in the back pocket, I switch my feet. My right leg's forward right now. Alright? 
I don't want to be like this guy. What happens? He moves out of the way, sucks me back, right? So watch how watch my hips twist a little bit when I just switch my feet. I just say, I call it like skateboarding, right? I'm halfway out, right? He can't hold me. I'm trying to hold him. So he's going to try to hold me, and it's very important that we squat as well. All right? My head's back. I find him with my head. And you'll see the kind of, when I cut, the distance I get, the space I get. All right? So I squat like this. I got my balanced foot back here, not like this, so he sucks me back. My hip's already out. I have a straight arm in the back pocket. I'm good. All right? Now my right arm goes up. When I go to cut, I let go of the hand. And you'll kind of see I always cut to my knees. And I get that space just in case the guy tries to follow it up with a shot, you know? I don't want to cut like this. And he's back in on me. Never got my escape. So I cut to my knees from high to low. Right here. And I got some space. All right? So again, the whole thing. Staying strong in my core, he might be trying to move me. He's on the left side, I'm going to quarter turn to the right. Outside legs up. See how I took my hands off the mat, all right? I also gave him a little elbow here, just in case he's deep for the half. What do you think I'm going to do this for an hour and try to get his hand up? No, i got to pull down a little bit, all right? Now it's a little more shallow. Grab the high hand with two hands, push up. Switch my feet, back pocket, now I'm squatting, right? He's losing me, he's going to let me go. Cut, all right? When I cut, this is another glitch that I see a lot, all right, from the uh, new guys, okay, at the high school level. Besides wanting to do this to get out, this hand's not holding me. I unravel out of that one, all right, like we're dancing, all right. But they want to, they, when they cut, they cut like this, like it's a switch, right. Mm -hmm. So they get followed. He's got this tight waist, and they go to cut like this, <laughs> and the guy follows. You've seen that happen here, guys, right? Oh, he's out, man. Come on. When I cut, you can see this line right here. When I cut, I cut right across his face, and my feet kind of boom, end up on this line. I don't switch and end up over here. When I cut, it's like this. All right, I'm still I'm straddling that line again. All right, you really get that crack of those hips. He doesn't. I'm always yelling at him because he does a below average job. That 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 uh crack the hips. He does some other things real well, like rolling and stuff like that. Alright? So that's a quarter turn. Yeah, sometimes he rolls with his ankle hook, which snaps me too. We're not going to pick on Hunter too much today. Alright? So we got the quarter turn, basic quarter turn. What about uh, tight waist ankle? This happens a lot, right? Tight waist ankle, especially short time in the period. Usually what you hear the other coach yelling in the corner, 15 seconds left. Hey, tight waist ankle. Alright, stop his first move. Okay? I mean, they can either bump me and get weight on my hands off the whistle, bump me and get weight on my hands on it. Ready? Russell, try to get weight on my hands, or control my bottom half of the tight waist ankle. Right? Go ahead, tight waist ankle. Right here. Okay? If I know tight waist ankle is coming, I can give it a little flipper, right? So that I can rotate over the ankle. Alright? The ankle that he's grabbing never moves. Okay? So this one. So if he ends up, if I beat him to the punch, I know he's going to tight waist ankle until he gets ready. Wrestle. Right off the bat. Alright? That way when I rotate over it, I'm in that L. Okay? We don't want to be in the C and rotate over our ankle when it's underneath us like this. What happens? Boom. Cross face cradle, right? So we need your windshield wiper right off the bat. So you have that space to rotate over and be tall in the L. Or, hey, he beat me. He tight away the ankle before I can windshield wipe. I'm not strong enough with my leg to just go like this. He's pulling it in, right? So I have to bump in one. This is the problem. This is a, a part that some guys mess up quite, quite a bit. They want to bring their inside knee to their outside leg like this, right? You got to bump into them and get that wide base like this, all right? Now it's as if I just did the flip, right? I got a windshield wipe right here. I can rotate over the ankle. Now I go two hands on this hand. This becomes the high hand. Remember, tight waist, we're going to unravel on it. So this is the high hand. Two hands on it. I don't have to switch my feet now because my hip's already out, right? Okay? I'm good. Halfway out, hands in the back pocket, I'm good. I can cut away, unravel off the tight waist. Alright? So that's from uh, tight waist ankle. Either beat him to the punch, or he gets it, bump him, wide base, now I'm in the same position. Alright? Rotate over the ankle, two hands on it, push back, we're good. Alright? Same, same thing once you get up to your feet, the hand in the back pocket. Other arm up, cut. Okay, so we got basic uh, 
just positioning, holding tight with our core. We have um, just basic quarter turn, quarter turn mechanics, quarter turn stand up, kind of cut, switch your feet, and then when the guy tight waist thing. The other thing they do, the tripod, right? You have guys who wrestle with a tripod? We have a lot of them. And his brother, alright? They all wrestle like this. The guy puts weight on their hands instead, right here, and they're in the tripod like this, okay? We see you guys try to get out like this. And fight back into it, right? Doesn't work as much. It's way easier to get your hips underneath you by knee slide. Alright? So if he's on my left, real simple. I'm gonna pull my left knee, alright? Almost to like my right hand, and I'm gonna twist. Again, I gotta take my hands with me. I don't wanna just knee slide like this. And he chops me. And I'm on my shoulder. And now I'm in trouble again. Okay? So, as I, as I knee slide, I, t I turn 90 degrees again. Turn, quarter turn, I take my hands off the mat. I'm in the tripod right here, he's got weight on my hands. I gotta turn right here. I twist the 90, hand and elbow, so the depth, sorry. So the depth of his uh, half, claw, spiral ride, got a little more shallow so I can actually reach up and grab it, as opposed to being up here. Give him a little elbow, now I push back, and everything's, everything's the same as if I just quarter turn, right? Just a different way to get there. Instead of off the whistle, I was in the tripod first, all right? Push back, switch your feet, back pocket, Cut away. Alright? So that's from the tripod. From the tripod, right here. I mean, sometimes one of the, one of the problems is they want to go into the short sit, so they bring their foot to it as well. So they go like this. It's okay. If you want to be in a short sit, it better be good from the short sit though. If you just want a quarter turn, it's just the knee. Just the knee comes through. Not the foot. Foot stays under the butt. Alright? I can stand up, cup. Alright? So we have the quarter turn. Uh, mechanics over the ankle and they're from the tripod. Is there any questions so far? Good. No? I'm just doing that awesome and explaining it. You guys have no questions? <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's kind of quarter turn. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, about um, short sit now. I'm, I'm more of a short sit guy. I, uh, I know the mechanics and everything for quarter turn because that's what they mean. Not what I would do in a match, all right? In a match for me, I try to get in, in either into the crackdown or just my butt, all right? So right off the whistle, actually, you know what? I forgot, I forgot changeover. Let me, let me talk about changeover real quick. Um, you know, we have like Bo Jordan, for example. He's, he, he just feels way more comfortable cutting when he's got this left arm in the back pocket and cutting right as opposed to right arm cutting left. He just feels more comfortable like that. So I'm going to say, Bo, the guy's on the right, you don't want him on the right, changeover. Alright, I can dictate what side he's on. All a changeover is, I push back over my right cheek, I hit my left cheek, and you'll see him end up on the left. So he's on the right right now. Go ahead, go ahead. Right here. I push back, it's my right cheek, I'm sitting. I push back my left cheek, he's, his hands will switch, and now it's real important, I slide my knee back underneath, and he's on the left. Alright? So changeover is pretty, pretty simple. Alright? On his right cheek, left cheek, knee goes back on it. All right? He's on the right, I want him on the left. Right, left, knee back on it. And then my power legs up again. He's on the left side. All right? Just know that the hands will switch if he's any good. He'll be on the side like this. And as you change him over, his hands will switch. So now you got to grab the high hand. All right? What happens is this is going high hands over here on the right. I quarter turn. I go to grab him. I'm on the wrong hand now. i got to get this left hand. All right? So that's change him. Almost, almost missed that. All right. So uh, short. Yeah. So he's on the right. All I'm doing is pushing back in. This. I'm not pulling my leg out like this. That's a, like a long sit. Ask Roselli if he likes the long sit if he's still there. <laughs> Seriously. Why don't you please do that for me? <laughs> he, he, he got sucked back at an all-star match and beat because of the long sit. So please ask. Him. All right. So I push back over my right, my right cheek like this. Right cheek. Left cheek, and now my knee goes back under, and now this is the high hand. See how he switched his hands? And now I'm good. Same thing. Cut. Alright? So the, uh, the few things I do for short sit. So that's quarter turning and standing up. Now for me, I'm a short sit guy. Because I'm not, I'm fine with the guy pulls me in the pocket, right? I reach up, I grab his head, I crawl, I call up the spider. I do some different things. But first thing I, I usually do, I do like three things from, from the short sit. He's on the left. 
uh, as if I'm just going to change over and push my left cheek like this. <laughs> Great. All right. Now, first thing I do is I high head turn. I high head turn. I'm Granby. And then if he pulls me back into the pocket, right, pulls me on top of him, pull me. Then I'll start wrestling like this. And I'll show you kind of something a little unique. Uh, like the clinic move for you. All right, that you may not have seen. Most people slide down the pipe. You ever heard that, right? Get down. I crawl up. So I'll show you that in a second. But what, what's here? What, what's in the short set, right? Remember, I gotta get my knees, knees tight. I don't wanna be like this. That, like I said, ask the lift. What happens when you're in that long set? All right. Short set right here. Now, when I go to high head turn, I grab this hand. It's on my belly. All right. As I go, I post on my head. Watch how high my ass is. All right. My butt. It's really hot. Okay, we have a guy, uh, uh, sometimes Roberts has a little glitch. He goes to high head turn off his shoulder, right? Not his head with his butt up, but off his shoulder. He tries to walk out like this. And the guy just follows him, right? When I high head turn, I throw this. I throw this arm around my tight waist, like up by my armpit, to loosen it up. And, and I pull my hips out like this. And boom. And then I go off my head. So it looks like this. I, I, I push back. I got to the cool turn, or I got to my uh, short sit. Now I go like this. Right? See how high I am and I'm on my head? I hold his grips. Okay? So again, just without a hunter, we're good here. And a short sit. When I go, I throw that thing higher. Alright? The last thing I want to do is get a tighter tight waist when I'm going to high head turn and I'm flat on my belly, right? So I loosen it up, I pull it up towards the armpit, I go up shoulder head, right here, and then my butt's up. And this hand blocks him so he can't follow. We all know if he follows what? Peter's, right? So that's uh, kind of how I, head, I high head turn off the short sit. The other thing I do, I Granby more. I Granby more from here than I do the tripod, okay? Because I don't like, we have, we, we've had this happen in the past. A lot of guys want to Granby with their ankle hooks. Right? Doesn't make sense. So I like to get short sit right here feet aren't covered all right they're out in front of me and then i pop up my hips out and i do my roll all right so for me i like oh, you got, got a problem i'll just put it in my pocket it'll be all right all right here we go so i push back into my short sit Ankles aren't covered, I'm good, I get some height, and now I have shoulder roll, right? I Granby roll, right here. Alright, let's take it. We obviously know Granby roll. Granby rolls over the shoulders, not the back. You see this a lot. That's not good. The way I kind of, having a guy, a first year wrestler, who doesn't know how to Granby roll, you want to teach him, just tell him to put his hands on his thighs, his elbows, on his hips, and just roll in a circle like this. Getting used to rolling over your shoulders. All right, right here. So we have push back over, getting in the short sit. I got my head turned. Good. I have my Granby. Two. And like I said, if he pulls me in the pocket, here's the fun one. We got time, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Short sit right here. He goes to pull me in the pocket. So what I try to do, sounds funny, sounds weird, but I try to. I jump up right here, I try to slide my butt like up my face. Alright, sit down. Alright, I don't go down like this. I go up right here. I start pushing on his thighs, and I climb up him. You'll see I'm in the pocket right now, right? I'm in the pocket, you got me kind of controlled, right, Hunter? Feel good? As I push on his thighs, or one, you gotta have a little flexibility in your shoulders too. Alright, right here, I jump up like this. Watch how I come out of the pocket, and my butt slides up to his chest. Right here. Now, he panics, I start crawling like this. He picks the side, he goes to chop, put a chop right here. I grab his wrist, and all it is is a hip heist. Boom, I hold it, if I can. If not, I sometimes just get out of the pocket. But all hip heist is, right? So he pulls me in the pocket, I start crawling up him like this. Once he picks the side, leg goes through, hip heist. Right? Hip heisting is... Well, change the game for my for my wrestling. I believe mean, we do so much of it when I was a kid. Where's my Graham here, my high school coach? Where's he at? I saw him here. Five years old. So I was 18. We hit Python all day, all the time. 
coach sitting there with the whistle. Boop. Hip hops. Boop. Hip hops. Hip hops. Bills you out in so many situations, right? When you cut, your hip hops. Alright? When, uh, right here, when he picks a side, I hip hops. He's on a high crotch trying to crack me down. What do I do? I hip hops. Split my hips up. Alright? When I'm on top, and I'm on top, I'm going right here. Oh, we're on our side. He goes back to his belly. I gotta cover him, right? Hip hops. Alright? So often wrestling, we have to. Have good hips, hip hops. So that's a drill that I highly recommend. Maybe for conditioning, right? And the practice. Five minutes, man. After your down block stands, your sprints, get down. Hip hops, boom, 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 boom. Those hips used to crack when they're tired. Alright? So again, show this move. Call it the spider. Alright, pulls me in the back pocket right here. And I slide up. I don't stay down. I don't sit on them. I slide up like this. Now I'm hot. Now I'm out of the pocket, right? And I just can pick whatever side he picks. He picks the left, I fall off to that side, and I hit this. I try to grab his wrist and hold it. Alright? Like I said, we gotta be a little flexible. Let's not kid ourselves. Alright? Built like Shrek, probably not gonna be a good move for you. Alright? All right. You gotta be able to kinda crawl your arms back. Yeah, it's funny you said that. I had a guy who was kinda screwing the Well, yeah, his arms really did it. Oh. Give me uh, some defense for that kind of crab ride position. For the, me? If a guy oh, so posing the crab notch crab ride? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Main thing is, here's, here's the other glitch we see a lot. He pulls me into the pocket right here. Everybody wants to grab the leg like this. Wrist thing. Alright? He's got an inside wrist. Or they seatbelt themselves in. Which is hilarious. Alright? Grab my wrist. I'm in trouble. Alright? The way we gotta grab it, once he, now I'm over top, right? So I'm kind of good. He's underneath. I can kind of push on his knees, get my hips out from the pockets, take the side, all right? Step on foot, I'm out. But once he'll, he'll throw one over, he'll throw one over, trying to get a boot in. I gotta catch it, all right? If I end up catching it like this, I better go sky hook, right? And slide down. Whew. And get out. Most of the time, I try to catch it like this, right? I put my, sh my, sh my elbow right on a shin, like this, and then I step on this other side, and I come up the side, all right? And then the other one you can do, once he's under like this, I put both my feet to one side, like this. Now I grab his toe, and I just put weight on his knee, and I kind of sit on it. My butt's on it, my, my hand's on it, my hand's on it, butt's on it. I'm off. I turn it in. Alright? So a couple different options uh, when you're doing that crackdown mm -hmm. from the uh, defensive, or not crackdown, crab ride. When he pulls you into the crab ride, right? You don't want to be there. You know, you just got to be where? The worst thing you can do, again, grab it like this, or seat cut yourself in, he gets your wrist, now you're in a half, now you're stretched, not good. Stay in that ball, right? And if you don't like it, you can always go back. Go back home, right? Go back home. And get back to uh, him on top of you that way. Alright? I love wrestling in the uh, in the time. Show one more. I'm gonna show you this one. The other last thing I do from the crap right here. Alright? This is my fun one. Okay? Put your head on the side. So he's over here. When I feel that head over here. And watch how I kind of, this time I kind of slide down, and then my hips go high like this. And I grab his head, and I'm almost in a high back bridge. Right, but I grab his head. So he's holding me, ready, wrestle. I slide down up, I grab his head, lean back right here. And now, now it's just a game. He's going to be trying to kick my feet out. So I got to just kind of get my balance, and I just hold it. And if sometimes what happens, you might get the fall, or, listen, he panics. Pulls his hips out. He's like, "Get out! Get me out of here!" You know. And you just get your one high head turn or bizzoni. Well, done this one before. Got a pin in a big time match once. All right. He pulled me in the pocket right here. I went hot. See how high I got? Boom. Got him. And now I'm trying to hold him on his back. All right. But you got to make sure your your hips get high and get that separation so you can kind of pin him down. If I just kind of reach like this and grab him, 
back with his chest. He'll throw his hat. Stretch me out. I'm in trouble. All right. So, uh, so what do we do? We get uh, working on our core, just straight up. That's what we usually start off with, making sure we don't go to our our, our stomach. Right. Second worst position in wrestling, being flat on our stomach. I don't want to go down there. All right. So working on our core, and then we did all the basics. Mechanics for quarter turn, mechanics for quarter turning when you have to tighten your ankle, how to knee slide when you're in the tripod, alright, cut, and we also did uh, some stuff from the short sit, right? Oh, change over, and then kind of uh, short sit, high head turn, short sit, Granby, short sit, he pulls in the pockets and tricks, and then, um, you know, there's, there's, there's a ton more on the bottom, obviously. From, he gets me flat, outside leg up, I got to push back a little bit, my wrist's out, um, my thumb's out, so I get my knee underneath. You know, there, there's, I mean, this is a 30, 30 minute clip, I can probably go more if I want to, but um, I'm going to give you guys a minute. Uh, what time? I started at 12.40, right? 12.45. So it's been about 30 minutes, because um, I want to get a drink too. 